Control of Congress and the State General Assembly are at stake, and Republicans in North Carolina could give themselves an advantage. Yeah, they are pushing for new districts that can help them gain seats. And our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, joins us live now in Raleigh. And Michael, they're not even done with this yet, and already some folks are suing them, right? Right, this is very unusual. Some Democrats are accusing the Republicans of what they're calling extreme gerrymandering. This could all end up before a judge soon. As North Carolinians prepare to head to the ballot box to decide which party gets control of Congress next year, state lawmakers in Raleigh are making key decisions now that will affect how that turns out. Republicans are deciding which voters end up in which congressional districts. In the map they proposed, they would split up Democratic Mecklenburg, Guilford, and Wake counties three ways each. Democrats say it would make it harder for them to win. What in the hell do we have to do with Lincoln? That doesn't make sense to me. The Princeton Gerrymandering Project analyzed the map, saying it would likely give Republicans 10 of the state's 14 seats and graded it an F for fairness. I have not looked at any partisan data to make any determinations as to how, what the outcomes of this map would be. This week, they'll also vote on new districts for the General Assembly. But some groups, including Common Cause NC, already have sued them to try to stop that. They want lawmakers to start over and for a judge to delay next year's primary election. It can be confusing to the public. They may think, well, here's another example that democracy is not working. And indeed, it is not. They argue lawmakers need to consider racial demographic data of voters to ensure they're compliant with the Voting Rights Act. Courts previously threw out maps Republicans drew due to racial gerrymandering. This time, Republicans say they're not considering that data as they draw the maps. You know, last time they sued us because we use race, this time they sued us because we don't use race. And uh, quite frankly, we're all prepared for uh, any lawsuits are coming, try to achieve their partisan advantage. Republicans plan to approve the maps by the end of the week. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper has no authority to veto them. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you very much. A crime alert tonight. Garner police make an arrest.